Hello everyone, I am Sagar Manushali and I am going to talk about glycocalyx. Suppose if I take up a bacterial cell, then glycocalyx is a substance that is secreted from inside of the cell to outside that is, which is further deposited on the cell wall. This glycocalyx is viscous and gelatinous polymer which is made up of polysaccharide and polypeptide. That is first property if it is, I can say is it is viscous. Second property, it is a gelatinous polymer which is made up of polysaccharide and polypeptide. Okay, so third, if the glycocalyx is firmly attached to the cell wall it is known as capsule when it is firmly attached to the cell wall it is known as capsule when it is and when it is not firmly attached it is known as slime layer this glycocalyx is also known as sugar coat which is covered on the cell wall or to the exterior part of the cell so it is also known as sugar coat to determine the presence of glycocalyx it is important to do negative staining so if i oh, i can say that if i want to determine the presence of glycocalyx i have to perform negative staining negative staining okay so this was all about glycocalyx it is viscous gelat uh, uh, gelatinous polymer made up of polysaccharide and polypeptide it is if it is firmly attached it is called capsule and if it is not firmly attached it is known as slime layer it is also known as sugar coat if i want to detect the presence of glycocalyx i have to perform negative staining so this was about the properties If I want to talk about the functions, I can say that first one, glycocalyx contributes to the bacterial virulence. That is, bacterial contributes to bacterial virulence. Bacterial virulence means the capacity of a bacteria to cause a disease or it or the bacterial pathogenicity. For example, if I take an uh, organism called Bacillus anthrax, which is the causative agent of anthrax disease. Bacillus anthrax, if I take the if I take the strain and uh, its two types, uh, one is capsulated, another and another does not have capsule. Does not have capsule. The organism with capsule causes anthrax. Whereas the bacteria, the or the strain without capsule does not cause anthrax. It is it simply indicates that the capsule is responsible for the disease. So uh, it contributes to the bacterial virulence as the glycocalyx is responsible for the disease. Another example I can say is the organism which was used for Griffith's transformation principle experiment that is Klebsiella pneumonia. The Klebsiella pneumonia. It had smooth strain and rough strain. The rough strain was able to cause the disease because it had capsule. While as the rough strain does not was not able to cause the disease because because it didn't have the capsule or the absence of capsule does not lead the form lead to the disease. Okay, so this was about the bacterial virulence. Also, the capsule of the Bacillus anthrax is made up of D. Glutamic acid. D-glutamic acid. This D-glutamic acid is a type of D amino acid which is very unusually formed. Okay. So the second function is adherence. Adherence. For a bacteria to cause a disease, is it is important for the bacteria to attach the surface to multiply and or to colonize and cause the disease 
so the glycocalyx allows the bacteria to adhere to the surface for example the streptococcus mutans attaches to the tooth surface via glycocalyx this glycocalyx allows the bacteria to attach and to cause the dental caries okay so this was about adherence third one it prevents it prevents dehydration the viscous layer that is present on the surface cell wall does not allow the movement of water from inside to outside thereby retaining the water content of the cell so the glycocalyx uh, prevents the dehydration fourth one it protects the cell from phagocytosis phagocytosis is engulfed getting engulfed by another cell for example if i take up the pathogen that invade our bodies this in this uh, pathogens are further engulfed or phagocytized phagocytes by uh, macrophages so presence of capsule does not allow the macrophage or the, any other another cell to engulf this uh, bacterial cell so protection from phagocytosis another fifth one uh, in some cases the bacterial uh, bacterial glycocalyx which is made up of polysaccharide or polypeptide is uh, serves as a source of nutrient in uh, in low energy states the glyco the glycocalyx which is made up of polysaccharide and polypeptide is further broken down into simpler products so the organism can utilize those simpler products in low energy states and can be and can survive in states so uh, as a source of nutrition the example for the source of nutrition is s mutans streptococcus mutans so the functions are contribution to bacterial virulence adherence prevents dehydration prevents phagocytosis source of nutrition uh, example is s mutans so this was all about glycocalyx uh, if you like my video please like subscribe share thank you